Hi everyone, my name is Saldina and I make IT and programming related videos. So if that is something that is of interest to you, consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as well. And in this particular video, I want to talk about encapsulation. Here I have code that we have written in the previous videos of this course. So if you haven't watched those, make sure to check them out. I'm going to link them in the description of this video. And I'm going to go over this code very quickly so that you can understand what we have written here. So here I have created this YouTube channel class, which has four pu public attributes, and those are name, owner name, subscribers count, and then list of published video titles. And then here we have a YouTube channel constructor, and then this get info method as well that just writes out information about our YouTube channel. And here's the code of our constructor. Okay, and then in our main function, we have created an object of this YouTube channel class, and we have assigned it these two values for our name and our owner name. And then we have as well added three videos to this published videos list. And here we have written out information about our channel. So if I run this code now, as you can see, this is how it behaves. It writes out information about our YouTube channel. Now, what I want to talk about in this video is encapsulation. And what does this principle of encapsulation says? Well, encapsulation says that these properties here should not be public. These should be private. And then the way to change the value, the data that you store inside these properties should be really using methods that you expose. And then you give access to those methods to your user. And then using those methods, obeying the rules of those methods, your user can change the value of these properties. Okay, so let me introduce a problem here so that you can really understand why we need enca encapsulation. So what happens if I say, for example, that YouTube channel, so this that we have created, has, let's say, a million subscribers. Okay, this is a million. Now we have assigned a million subscribers to this YouTube channel, and this should not be allowed. If I run this program, you can see that this YouTube channel has a million subscribers now, but this is not the natural way to gain subscribers for your YouTube channel. What you should do instead is you should give your user the ability to invoke subscribe and unsubscribe methods, and then using those methods, you are going to increase or decrease this subscribers counter. So let's do that. Let's first hide these properties from our user, so from whoever is going to use this class here. So how do you hide these? Well, you make them private. So here, instead of using public access modifier, I'm going to use private access modifier. So I'm going to say private, oh, private, like this. And then these should stay public. So I'm going to put public here like this, okay. And then, as you can see, we have a problem here. It says that this subscribers count is inaccessible and then this, public, uh, this published video titles as well is inaccessible, meaning that we cannot access these private members of our class. These private members can be accessed only within this class itself. So how we are going to give our user the ability to change this subscribers counter, well, as I said, we are going to create methods. So let's create two methods. The first one is going to be void, void, subscribe, like this. And then what this method should do, it should increase this subscribers counter. So here I'm going to say subscribers counter, like this, plus, plus. Using this increment operator, we are going to increase the value that we store in this variable by one. And then we are going to have as well unsubscribe method. So I'm going to copy this, paste it here, and let's say unsubscribe. And then here I'm going to say that this subscribers count is going to be decremented. So now if I, I will have to comment this code here, and then I'm going to delete this code here. And now if I want to increase or decrease 
subscribers for my channel, what I will have to do is I will have to invoke one of these two methods. So let's say, for example, YouTube channel dot subscribe like this. OK, and let's invoke this method um, three times, for example. And now if I run this program, as you can see, my channel, so Code Beauty channel, has three subscribers. And then let's say, for example, that I haven't published videos in a while, so people decide to unsubscribe. So I'm going to invoke this unsubscribe method, like this. And if I invoke this get info after that, I should have two subscribers. Well, oh, as you can see, I have two subscribers now, because three people have subscribed, and then one person has unsubscribed from my channel. Okay, so we have this code here as well that was underlined, meaning that it has um, compile time error. And it says, member published video titles is inaccessible, meaning that now we cannot access this published video titles list anymore because it is private now. So I'm going to expose a method that is going to publish videos for me. So here I want to create a method of type void, which is going to be called publish video. Publish video like this. And then here I want to add a video to my published video titles like this. So I'm going to say published video titles, push back. And then what I want to do is I want to pass a value here. Which value? Well, we are going to receive that value as a parameter in our function. So here I'm going to add an argument, a parameter, and that is going to be of type string. And let's call it title, like this. And now we are going to use this title here. So we are going to push this title in our, push, in our published videos titles. Okay, like this. Now, if I want to invoke this method, I'm going to invoke it like this. So I'm going to say YouTube channel dot publish video like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing here and then here and here as well. OK, so now we have created these methods that we invoke. And then using these methods, we change these properties and these properties should be private, meaning these should be encapsulated. OK. And now, as you can see, we have a channel called Code Beauty and then owner is myself and subscribers is two. And then these are videos that I have published so far. Now, if you look at this unsubscribe method, you will notice that it has a bug. What is that bug? Well, Let's delete these three lines of code. Let's delete these subscribe method invocations. And if I run my program now, what is going to happen? As you can see, it says that my subscribers count is equal to minus one. And that does not really make sense. So you cannot have minus one subscriber. And we are going to fix that problem if we put here inside this unsubscribe method a check. So we want to check if our subscribers count is greater than zero. And only in that situation, if that subscribers count is greater than zero, only then we can decrease this subscribers count value. So if I run my program now, as you can see, we have invoked this unsubscribe method, but we still have zero subscribers. And now we have fixed that bug that we had, because if no one has subscribed to our channel, then no one can unsubscribe from it. OK, so that was a bug that I wanted to fix. And then what you can do here, because here we have exposed these three methods that really manipulate the values that are stored inside these properties. And then these two properties, there is no way to change them outside of this class. So what you can do for them, for example, is you can create a getter and a setter, meaning a method that, that is called, for example, get name, and that method is going to return you the value that is stored inside this name variable, and then a setter method, meaning set name method, that is going to receive a um, parameter, which is going to be called name, for example, and inside that set name method, you are just going to change 
the value that is stored inside this name property. And then you can do the same for this owner name uh, as well. So you can create a getter and a setter method. So let's go over this encapsulation rule one more time. So encapsulation rule says that all of these properties should be private, meaning they shouldn't be accessible outside of this class. And you do that by making them private. So you put this private access modifier here. And then how do you change the values that you store inside your properties? Well, you expose a public methods that are going to change the data that you are storing inside your properties. And here we have created these three public methods that are going to change the data stored inside our subscribers count uh, property and then inside our published video list property here. So you can, for these two properties, again, you can create getter and setter method. And if some of you do that, please put that code in the comment section and I'm going to review it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon as well. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.